Hey, welcome in if you're new here. My name is Grace Shockey. If you're returning, then welcome on back. How do you build credit for a midterm rental arbitrage business or any business of that matter? My goal and what I'm building this business for is to arbitrage apartments, which means leasing from an apartment owner and then furnishing the apartment, posting it on a site like Furnish Finders or Airbnb and serving traveling nurses or any kind of traveling professional who's coming to Nashville for 30 plus days. But why it's really important to build business credit for what I'm doing, and you probably already know this if you're here, is because the apartments have to see that you are a valid business, that you're not just a ghost. They need to see that you have had some trade lines and it takes a little bit longer than I initially thought. Since it's been sort of a challenge and I've been working through this for the last four months, um, I figured that I would give you guys some of my best practices, tips and tricks, and uh, help it go a little bit smoother for you. So the first thing to build business credit is actually just to start your business. Like I mentioned, mine is an LLC. I live in Tennessee, so it was really, really easy to file it online. I used Inkfile. I don't get any kind of affiliate income for you using the link, but I will put it there for you just because that's what I used. It's free to use unless you do the add-ons. So I think in Tennessee, it's about $350, $380, but it's different in every state. And one important step before you apply to your LLC is to quickly register with iPostal One or some sort of virtual mailbox. I did a lot of research and iPostal One was the best one that I found for the price. It's about $10 a month. And it's different than a PO box in that it's a virtual mailbox. So it's a real address because systems now, government systems, um, you know, credit systems, all of these things can detect a PO box, but a virtual mailbox is a real address where they send the mail and they will send you scanned images of the mail and you can either choose to have it shredded or you can choose for a small fee to have it sent to your house. It's a really good way to have a business address that's not your personal address. Your second step after you register your LLC is to get a Duns and Bradstreet number. I never knew what this was and I actually <laughs> had to figure that out the hard way by asking an apartment owner if I could rent and they said, well, do you have a Duns and Bradstreet number? And I said, nope, let me go look at that. And so Duns and Bradstreet, think of it like your corporate, it's like a corporate social security number. So we all have social security numbers as citizens and this is a way for them to look up your business and see do you pay your credit cards on time how long have you been in business how many employees do you have what is the estimated income and it's a way for the people that you're applying for credit with to see if you're legit so it's really easy to apply on duns and Bradstreet. street it just takes a couple of minutes but there is a waiting period which i had probably five weeks before I got accepted. I had friends who were accepted within a week or two, so I think it's really random. But what I can say is once you go on Duns of Bradstreet and register the business, you really need to watch your phone calls, watch for postcards in the mail, watch for emails, because they're trying to verify that the information that you told them is true. So I'm saying this out of order because I forgot to say it, but before you register for your LLC, you need to get a Google Voice number for your business specifically because you don't want to be putting your personal phone number on the LLC or on Duns and Bradstreet. I don't know if it's just a preference thing or if it sends up some sort of red flag, but I've heard multiple people say this and also it's just a nice layer of separation between your personal you know, information and your business. And yeah, it's super free and easy and it just forwards all your calls to your personal number. So do that first before you get your LLC and apply for Duns and Bradstreet. A pro tip after you apply for your Duns and Bradstreet number, go ahead and start applying for credit cards. Now I was able to have some credit cards approved based on my own personal income. So it was like a guarantor. I was able to get a, hang on. Chase Business Unlimited Inc. credit card. I was able to get it through my company. So now it's gonna be reported to Duns & Bradstreet and all of the other trade line agencies. I also got a Home Depot Pro Extra Commercial Revolving Charge Card in my business name. I also applied for Granger, Quill, and Uline, which I got from um, Noelle Randall. I'm gonna put her YouTube down in the description because she was so helpful to me. I swear, she's like the reason that I've gotten all of this done. She works on the same type of businesses 
Airbnb or midterm rental arbitrage and she's a huge proponent of building your credit. She taught me that Granger, Uline, and Quill are all places that you can do net 30 accounts. If you're not familiar with net 30 accounts, it's pretty simple. It just means that they will give you, as a business, 30 days to pay them. So that means when you check out, you don't have to put a credit card in there, you don't have to put your debit card in there. They will say, we will invoice you in 30 days and we, we are trusting you with this amount and we will trust you to pay it back. Now the important thing is pay it back on time or pay it back early. You definitely don't wanna have late payments because that could negatively affect your credit. One thing that I'm doing is just putting in my Google Calendar a reminder for like 27 days to make sure that I'm paying it earlier on time. But all of those report to Duns & Bradstreet or the major creditors. In my experience, it's taken about almost two months for it to start being reported. And to date, only one trade line is showing up. So it might take a couple of cycles. So my advice is if you're trying to do this, do it now. Do not procrastinate. Get the LLC in, get the Duns & Bradstreet and start applying for credit cards. You may need to start smaller if your personal income can't guarantee any other cards for you. Like you may need to just do store cards. I would just look around, definitely dive into Noelle Randall's videos, but get started as soon as possible because it takes longer than you think, baby. Just does. Another card that I forgot to mention is the Costco City credit card. I've heard from other midterm rental hosts that this will be really helpful when buying supplies for the unit. And also it's just a good way to get credit reported to your account. So that is what I've been doing. And if you made it this far, thank you. I'm super happy that you're here and hopefully you got some great information from this. I wanted to share a little bit of my heart and why I'm building this business. For one, I am an actor. That is my long-term career goal. I tried to run from it for a really long time. I was so scared, but it's actually what I feel God is calling me to do. And it's what I have to do to be happy, honestly. So the reason that I'm building this business, while it might seem kind of like a runaround, is this is a way to build um, a stable monthly income for myself that is separate from my time. Now, I do have to put work into this and a lot of work on the front end, but I believe from what I've studied and heard from friends who are doing it, that once I stabilize these assets, I can have a monthly recurring revenue that will cover at least part of my lifestyle, if not all of it. And that's very important for an actor because not only do you need stability, but you really want to go into those auditions for the right reasons. You don't wanna just go in for a paycheck because I think that people can smell that and the best way to do your best creative work is when you're not worried about how you're gonna pay rent next month. So I am working on that. That is my goal. I'm really curious to hear why you're doing it. You're obviously here for a reason. So please share with the community down below. Why are you building your business credit? What is your goal and why are you doing this? If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like this, just practical steps from me looking back a couple months over my shoulder and saying, this is what I just did. I am happy to share it with you. Please just give me feedback. And your greatest gift and feedback to the channel and the community is to like the video, subscribe, and if you feel called to, share it with a friend. This was so much fun getting back on camera with you guys. I will be more consistent going forward and I will see you next time. Bye.